We begin tonight with some very sad news about a man whose three children were killed by a drunk driver in a crash in Vaughan. Global News has learned that Edward Lake was found deceased on Monday. Our Karen Lieberman joins us now with more. Karen. You know, Alan, a friend of the Neville Lake family has shared with us that Ed Lake has died by suicide. And so many of you reached out to us in the aftermath of the impaired driving crash that claimed the lives of the Neville Lake children. And throughout the years since, many of you have stopped me to ask about Jennifer Lake, Neville Lake and her husband, Ed. And, and this is why we're reporting tonight on his death. Every single day since their three children were killed have been excruciating, as you can imagine, but holidays and anniversaries are particularly difficult, and Father's Day, of course, is among them. Jennifer Neville Lake posted this on social media yesterday. Father's Day 2022, this shouldn't be real, it can't be. The crash that claimed the lives of Harry 9, Daniel 5, and Millie 2 was back in September 2015. The driver, Marco Muzzo, had just returned home from a bachelor party. He was behind the wheel with twice the legal limit of alcohol. He was sentenced to 10 years behind bars after pleading guilty to four counts of impaired driving causing death and two counts of impaired driving causing bodily harm. Muzzo's SUV T-boned the Neville Lakes new van killing the children and their grandfather, Gary, and injuring two others. Parents Jennifer and Ed were not inside the van at the time. Alan, many times Jennifer spoke outside the courtroom and she shared the couple's grief, but Ed was a lot less open about his feelings. And this is just a tragic update, of course, to a over otherwise devastating story. Just absolutely tragic. Karen, thank you so much. Thanks.